Latif Diaby does want to regain possession. Good run from the Burkina Bay. Chance for Burkina Faso. And that's the opening goal. Guess who? Tamsoma opens the scoring for the Burkina Bay side. 1 0 for Burkina Faso. Ashraf Tamsoma. He's gone all the way to where the Burkina Bay fans are celebrating to join them. Good finish. Great finish. Splendid effort from Ashraf Tapsoba. And no one was closing him down, but he had to react very quickly. Just look at that. In the split second, fight that one. But it was Abdullah Latif who did all the hard work at the other end. Fought to win that ball. Just plays that dangerous ball into a dangerous area where in defense that's what they've been taxed to do once you have you don't have possession of the ball then you have defended to do it they went tirelessly this book in a base side le petit elephant down by one goal they have a free kick now cedric gobey to take for the boys in orange swings one in the box defended by Burkina. Drive takes a deflection and Cote d'Ivoire have the equalizer. Mohamed Diara. It was a drive from the midfielder Adam Asome and it took a wicked deflection of Diara and goalkeeper Prince Wadrago had no answers, completely beaten. Just the right way to respond again. Just look at that, a very weak clearance, but that long drive from distance, about 30 yards out, and that deflection. And the good thing was they tried to stay on side because the Bucket of A defense was playing every single Ivorian player on side. Just look at that drive from here's Isi Dabo to Sanogo, sends a long one in the foot top sober. Your boy. Burkina Faso World Cup, but they finished third in the group that had France, United States, and then South Korea. They only managed three points, and here they are looking for the second goal. And Burkina Faso are back in the lead. A double for Tapsoba. Goalkeeper obviously could have done better. The ball bounced and the keeper co completely beaten. It's hard to blame him, but some are thinking he could have done better. There's so that's goal the now. build up to the goal. As a goalkeeper there, but just look at that. There was just a touch and a strike from distance and bounces right in front of the goalkeeper. And you'd hardly blame him for that. But then that was a good strike. The pass right up to the park of Ashraf that's so by just look at that it just bounces but he was just trying to fist or just parry that away but what Mokeda Faso he made some right decisions down the line down the stretch and they still have some defending to do it's not over for Burkina yet they still want to create chances just a lovely hit and an amazing goal from Sabadogo. That's a brilliant finish. He makes an instant impact. And Burkina Faso have doubled their lead with a world class finish from the number nine who just stepped on the bench. Great goal by Abubakar Sabadogo. Brilliant finish. World class. And that was just with his first touch since coming on. He's been on the pitch for barely a minute. And a great way to seal the win for Burkina Faso. Just look at that. Clearly struck coming off the, the post. Just didn't want to take any ch chances at all. Just a hit. Top, top, top quality. An emphatic victory over Cote d'Ivoire in the finals. 3-1 victory. It's no mean feat.
Burkina came, they saw and they've conquered. They will go into the total energies under 17 AFCON as champions of West Africa Zombie. What a game we witnessed, Josiah. It was duly deserved, Nanada Kwa JC. What a game we just witnessed. It was a flurry of goals, but it was quite a dominant display defensively from Burkina Faso. And they showed you that that's their strength. They rely on their defense. And as I say, goals, defense wins you titles. And you can see that they gave everything from minute one to minute 90. And these young lads deserve it. And just look at the fans in the stands cheering. Set by Ghana. And that's a trophy. At the end of 90 minutes in the grand final, three goes to two to win bronze and yeah. qualify for the next under 17 AFCON Nigeria. What a team and what a tournament they've had. And I'm sure they really, really enjoy this tournament and they enjoy Ghana as well. They enjoyed it. They, enjoy, they play some great football. And it looked like I was talking about the Ivorian team. For you to, to, to get a trash and five goals to one. And for you to come back to win against Benin, get into the semi final to defeat Nigeria, the defending champions of this competition. And the way they came up against Burkina Faso, they played some exciting patterns, exciting football. They went down, they equalized, then they conceded. And from there, they have the path, they tried as much as they could to equalize. But at the death, Burkina Faso had that extra energy and that extra motivation when they came up on top to score deep into stoppage time to kill off the game by three goals to one. They are gallant losers and I think the FA, their FA president and the entire people of Ivory Coast will be proud of their achievements here in Ghana. There's not a time for the Ivorians to feel dejected. They should be proud of themselves. They put up a good show in the grand finale, but unfortunately they lost to a better Burkina Bay side but you can see them posing, these young lads, hopefully Ivorians back home will be hoping that this would be the next set of Le Elephant they would be seeing in the next five, six years. And they'll be hoping that they will follow a very, you know, authentic developmental route to progress into some of the finest players we've seen. And there you have them. The first runner-up, La Côte d'Ivoire, but then, it's signed for the champions, and then they line up. The gold medalists are the WAF, Edwin Simon, Keto Kreku, and